They ran on to Lang Park. It was just after dark, and their knees and their fingers were trembling. Forty thousand were there, and there's the hint of a scare in the face of the big forward, Brian Nembling. The ref said, by golly, you kick off, please, Gino. And Wild put the ball down the middle. But the Blues were offside, and the home crowd all cried to the ref. That was weaker than Biddle. But the ref just stood still. Brett Kenny looked ill. He'd been hit where he shouldn't have ought to. Then we took a drop on a dirty big prop. Took it up. It took 12 blokes to stop him. Well, not 12. Maybe 8. But Jesus was great when the five of them still couldn't drop him. Then Alan Langer dropped a hell of a clanger when he capped a knee right in the groin. And the jingle and jangle he rose from the tackle certainly wasn't loose coin. The ref said to Scotty, Hey, look, don't get snotty. You know you can't kick that bloke there. And while he just laughed and Shearer laughed with him, which was sad because they both don't have no hair. Beautiful but that, isn't it? But the poem's getting long. And it might get the gong, so we'll end it before it gets boring. I don't care how we beat him. Why, one or street him. Just as long as we stop them from scoring. <laughs>